Hi everybody. Uh, uh, hope you guys are all doing well. I know that right now the whole world is going crazy and this quarantine and, and coronavirus situation is just getting out of hand. I want to start off by I don't even know. A few days ago, uh, I was talking to my dad. And my dad, he is a healthcare worker, so he is out every day taking care of patients, uh, organizing medicine, uh, all this stuff. And it's kind of scary knowing that he's out there every day, putting himself out there with, with his fellow employees. And they work so hard with everything that's happening right now. I just felt like it was a crucial time to kind of pay our respects and show our appreciation to people like them and I know for a fact that me doing something uh, for them or for other people won't leave such a huge impact to what's going on and it won't help tremendously but I do know that if I can use the time that I have now to at least do something in a way that will lift someone's spirits or show how much we appreciate to the people that are working every day and you know give them a reason to smile through such a tragic time that we're all going through right now that is why i felt the need to make a video like this where i can show you guys the process of what i'm doing how i'm doing it and and kind of almost like why i'm doing it uh so that way hopefully it can open some other people's eyes in a way that you can do something as well so without further ado after talking to my dad and seeing all the things that everyone's going through and all the nurses and all the doctors, um, I wanted to create a healthcare appreciation package. And I know that I can't do this myself, so what I decided to do is bring along a few of my friends and hopefully they'll agree to it and... Yeah. I guess that's it. Uh... Let's get started. Let's just write this as health care pre Okay, so uh, that was Ricky from a place called XLB Dumpling Bar, and uh, he's probably one of the coolest guys I've ever met through the phone. So now, I don't even know what to say. So Ricky, he not only agreed to the idea of the packaging, but he said that he would be able to provide a mask and also obviously the meal, which is way more than I could possibly ask for. And we are going to be meeting tomorrow uh, at a safe distance. So that way we can kind of discuss the details of what he can provide uh, for that meal. So we have my friends that I need to call tomorrow. Uh, we have our local restaurant. And now today I'm just gonna do some research on the sizing of the boxes and it contact the hospital that I do want to donate. So that way, you know, we're okay on both ends. Yeah, a little bit of work today, and then see what happens tomorrow. I'm excited. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, 
it's like glitching right now. Give me one second. Give me one second. So, you can create something that's going in multiple packages. Right. There we go. Wait. Oh, it's still happening. Sam, if you want to be a part of it. Sam? Yes? Yes? She's gonna. <gasps> Food, if that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I was actually just about to say you don't have to make food. <laughs> I'm trying to think of if I could like, like hand make something. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know, but I don't think it'll be like any. No, food. that's not a yeah. I'm gonna do a dairy free, uh, gluten free. Oh, doctors say they're vegan. Doctors, doctors say they're vegan, but they have eggs. It's right. Oh, it's okay. Doctors say they're vegan with eggs. Honestly, anything that's easiest for you is totally fine with me. Are your, ha so have your hands been getting dry? Yes. Check it. Check it. Uh, uh, duh. Ow. Duh. Ow. I love this. Thanks, that's good. But thank you so much for doing this. Of course. Yeah, I was, I was, I was just calling. To thank you for, for it. Sounds good, bro. Cool. All right, but, I'll get back to you. Thanks, man. Hey. Bye. Okay, we've got Kyle, Jade, Casey, Bailey, Jules, possibly Sam, and all we have left is to meet with Ricky, and I'm excited to see how that turns out. Thinking like either you know we create like a, a package where they you get a little bit of everything on the menu, yeah. always, yeah, or like they get a full meal like a Hainan chicken or something. And you said it was 40 meals, right? right. 40, 40, 50. Yeah, that's that's yeah. doable. We can do like a mixed pack, so it's not, not just like one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. bring it back home if they want. Yeah. Even if I'm able to, maybe it's not specifically this pack itself, mm. but like being able to come up with. Contact different hospitals. I think it'd be cool. Um, I mean, like I said, like it's it's so, it's so new that right, we're just kind exactly. of we're and figuring I, this whole right, thing exactly. out right now. Right. We'll see what happens. But yeah. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really thankful that you're. I'm this. thankful that you know, like we such were. Such a cool person. <laughs> I'm so glad you're such a cool person. I was so <laughs> nervous. But I know you called and then I, I, I was like, you know, I said yeah. it was like the perfect time because we're like, oh, let's do this. We're already doing it. Yeah, 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 we're already yeah. donating mass. And I'm like, oh, let, like, this would actually, you know, we can impact more people. Right, right, you exactly. know, yeah, and yeah. also for your care package, I will have at 95 mass. Like, we can put like two in every well, gift yeah, bag yeah, for yeah. everyone, too. So I feel like something like this well, like in a a package, yeah. yeah, this with like this kind of thing, yeah. it would work perfectly for like the sizing of what they would want. Thank you again. No problem. Yeah, I wish you could do more than that. Yeah. But <laughs> thank Thanks, you. Bro. Hey, it's so great meeting you. So now that I know what Ricky's planning and what all my friends are planning, I'm gonna go back home and construct the whole plan and see where we go. So let's do it. Yeah. Okay, we are back and. Now that everyone is finally on board and everyone knows what their part in the package is, uh, I'm not only am I super excited, but here's the plan. So, tomorrow, me and my sisters, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna figure out the layout of what the box is gonna look like, you know, almost the inside of what the whole package is gonna pretty much be and figure, figure out the spacing of where each item of everyone's uh, items are gonna be at in the package. Do you remember the dimensions? It's like box is like I think like fourteen by nine by six. Okay, that's the something like that. Yeah. The the white box, right? Yeah. 
say it was like right here. The circle, or is it about the size? The Eight inches. The circle was probably like the like, meal. The meal. Yeah, yeah, the meal was probably like. Like. Like, like that. Oh, that's oh, oh, whoa. You can have the mask right here because we want we don't want the mask to touch as like little things as possible. Right, so the meal would be like here, right? We can have like the um like the brownies, chocolate chip cookies aren't here at the side. It's more important it's more important for like things to be tucked in at the bottom. Even if the height wise there's nothing above, because if it's like tight enough, you're not gonna it's be not moving, moving them. Around. You're not moving them a lot. And also that exact same day, we are gonna start making cookies, which is what I'm making in my package. You just leave it, leave it in for now. Cookie time. You can hold this. Do it again. Thanks. What? Do it again. It's cookie time. Oh. <laughs> Sarah, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we were making probably about like 150 to 160 cookies. So we have butter, vanilla, baking soda, salt, sugar, brown sugar, uh, chocolate, uh, and then flour. And okay, cool. So uh, first, can you melt this butter? Uh, okay. I just felt like chocolate chip cookies were that classic way of saying thank you and that classic gesture of just, you know, something that everyone always likes. And, you know, I wanted to make like big, thick, giant cookies and each person in each package would get three. So I figured that might be something that, that they might enjoy. So me and my sisters, we have to let that sit overnight. So we're going to start that tomorrow. And then that way, the next day, we can actually bake them, which leads us into everyone else's uh items this is kind of a little bit of what they're doing so hopefully you guys enjoy that hey it's casey hey guys what's up it's kyle hanagami hey what's up guys it's julian de guzman hi guys my name is jade Shanad. hi guys my name is bailey sock we have casey who is making personal thank you cards uh for the package which i feel like is super uh amazing and perfect because that is basically giving off the message of what we're trying to do here for the package. I wanted to do this video because I wanted to give back in some type of way. I believe words can really spread positivity. Although it's the smallest thing, I believe when you say something positive to someone or give them something to stay hopeful about, it really just makes everything that they do all worth it. In times like these, we really need to stay positive and I believe this is the best way possible. And also thanks Sean for putting this all together. I believe that although this is a small gesture, it could really change people's lives. Stay healthy everybody. And then we have Kyle who thankfully drove all over the place to find rolls of toilet paper, which I don't even know how he did and how he found some. Just want to say a huge thank you to all the hospital workers out there who are doing phenomenal things. Um, Sean asked me to help put together these care packages. And so I scoured the LA area looking for the rarest, most exotic item that just doesn't exist anywhere. And I came up with 40 rolls of toilet paper. Enjoy guys, we love you. And thank you for everything that you do for us. Then we have Jade who is making brownies. And I mean, come on, everyone loves brownies. So I'm kind of excited to see how she makes those. Um, I think the reason I am doing this is 
not only do I have the time and Sean Liu had asked me to be a part of this, but I think it's super important for us to show that our frontliners, the people that are dedicating their lives to fight this pandemic, that we do truly care and that we do appreciate everything that they're doing for us because I know we are sentenced to our homes, but you guys aren't and you guys are out there having sleepless nights, probably filled with so much anxiety and stress and possibly sadness. And I just wanted to maybe make something that could give you guys a smile or just let you guys know that you're being thought of because we really appreciate all of the sacrifices that you guys have made and all the time and work that you guys are putting in to protect our world and our country. So thank you so much. And I hope that this small act of kindness can Hopefully fill your guys' hearts and keep fueling you guys to keep on fighting because I can't imagine how hard this fight is. So thank you so much. Okay, let's go make some brownies. I promise I am so, so, so clean. I have washed everything and I've actually had all the products with me already except for eggs. So we're gonna go to the store for some eggs and make sure we sanitize the crap out of them. Then we have Jules who is shipping items of you know, sustainable snacks and candy so that way they have something throughout the week and something they can just eat on the go and it makes the most sense because he lives across the country uh so i mean he had to ship it here which i can't pick up uh and he had a ship sorry about the jewels i wanted to give them a couple of snacks so while they're working they could have something to eat on the go and yeah this is just a little appreciation for what they're doing right now they're they're risking their lives they're taking a chance i just want to Thank them for everything that they do, all the doctors, nurses, everybody in the hospital, whether they're a janitor, or what, whether they're doing wh whatever. But I just want to thank them, thank Sean for hitting me up to do this. And yeah, we're going to get through this. And yeah, love y'all. Thank you so much. And last but not least, we have Bales. Oh, sorry, Bailey. And she is making also a baked treat. And I think she mentioned like a tag. So we'll see how that works out. But I'm excited to see how she comes up with that. Cause I mean, she's always creative with those kind of stuff. So see. With all the craziness that the coronavirus has brought us this year, I just wanted to do something, anything I can do to help. And I know there are so many people, so many incredible individuals who have been putting their lives on the line every single day just to help others. And for that, I thank you and pray for your safety. I will be making some coffee cake muffins. Huge shout out to Sean for putting all this together and for including me. So everyone has all their items complete now and I'm so excited to see how that is going to come together in one package, which leads us to Friday morning. <laughs> Friday morning, I will be driving to their houses, except obviously Jules. I will be picking up each package and obviously staying away uh, from them, unfortunately. It's the closest I'll get to them in probably months. And making sure that we keep our social distancing. On point. So once I get back, I will be finishing the cookies with my sisters and baking off all the cookie dough that we made the day before. which leads us into Saturday. And on Saturday, this is where we get into the actual packaging itself. Hopefully it'll run smoothly, which I doubt knowing me and my sisters. And actually, no, I have faith in... Uh, so we're gonna be packaging the packages uh, on Saturday, putting them all together, except for the meals that Ricky's providing. Uh, and that's gonna be pretty interesting process. 
We have 40 boxes to fill, making sure that every package gets the same identical items and also just the same sort of uh, layout that we kind of built the other day. It's packaging time. Woo! up to we go into Sunday morning and Sunday morning I will be going to uh, Ricky's place which is XLB dumpling bar and I will be picking up all the meals Hello. over into the present day. becoming an idea into a reality, it's always such a unforgettable feeling. And to have all my friends involved, it's so inspiring to me. And it's motivated me into thinking that this is only just the beginning. And my biggest hope is to let these frontline and healthcare workers know that we are always thinking of them because without them, we wouldn't be able to survive through this pandemic and giving them a reason to smile and to keep fighting for what they're doing. It's so fulfilling to me and I wouldn't trade that moment of 
giving those packages to those uh, doctors uh, and nurses for anything in this world. I honestly just hope that this video has inspired you into thinking that, you know, a small gesture of appreciation can really lead to saving someone's life. And I just want to really thank my parents, my sisters, uh, my friends, Ricky, Ricky's team, the whole team of XLB Dumpling Bar for just, for just inspiring me to keep going with this and to know that we can do so many other hospitals and we don't have to just stop here. And that is definitely gonna be something that I will keep thinking about and definitely move forward with. So if you got into the end of this video, I know that it's so long, but I really appreciate you watching this. I know this is not really the usual kind of videos that I do, but this felt very important to me and I hope that this sparked a little inspiration for you guys as well. So thank you so much for watching again and stay safe and stay healthy. Peace.